Today, scholars of Chinese uh, politics uh, find themselves in a relatively advantageous position. Uh, we have more access to quantitative data than ever before. Uh, unfortunately, government data are often scattered across numerous sources. So data for one indicator may appear in earlier ministerial reports, but then disappear from later editions, only to reappear in, say, news bulletins. Um, this is certainly the case for data related to uh, drug policy in China. Data drawn from reports by the Ministry of Public Security on drugs, if read on their own, present at best an incomplete picture on drug use or drug policy in China. Uh, other figures may appear in news reports or academic journal articles or books. And although all, these, uh, all this data is publicly available, uh, actually collating it requires considerable time and energy. So as a centralized data repository, the China uh, Drug, Crime, and Detention Database Project aims to help solve this problem. It's, it's essentially it's a tool. It's meant to be a tool for researchers, journalists, advocates, anyone who wants to use it, both in the English and the Chinese speaking world. So what are some of the tentative findings that we have from this database project? Um, these are basically things that should be familiar to anyone who has some familiarity with Chinese drug policy or drug use in China. Uh, the first is that the number of people who use drugs who are registered by the police has increased from 70,000 in 1990 to about 2.5 million today. The second is that seizures of drugs by the police interdictions have risen from about 11.8 tons in 2002 to about 89.2 uh, tons in 2017. Now there are issues with those figures, I'm not going to go into it right now, if you want, you can ask me later. Uh, the third is that there's been a shift in drug use patterns in China. So back in 2002, the majority of people were registered as using drugs in China, were registered as using heroin, whereas now in 2017, uh, most people are registered as using methamphetamine. Again, issues with, uh, with that kind of data, I can go into that later. But I think a bit more interesting would be what might be unclear, some of the questions that perhaps this database can help us answer, right? uh, which are issues that are perhaps less addressed in literature. The first is, what's been driving the increased registration by the police of people who use drugs over the last 15 years, or about 2006 onwards? Second, what is the relationship between government-funded harm reduction services and drug detention? And third, how does the implementation of community-based treatment fit within broader changes in China's justice system? Uh, so hopefully this is, is clear. I'm not used to doing PowerPoint, so I hope this, this is okay. But uh, so as you can see, the number of people registered by the police in China has risen pretty consistently since 1990. Uh, but one thing we can see is that around 2006, there was a dramatic increase in the number of people being registered per year. From 1990 to 2004, uh, the number of people registered per year by the police was on average about 73,000. But from 2006 to uh, 2014, we see basically a threefold increase, around 239,000 people being registered per year. So what might explain this increase? Uh, part of it undoubtedly is because of rising drug use. The police are simply registering more people because more people are using drugs. Um, but there's a second factor that I think is often overlooked in the literature, and that's the implementation by the Ministry of Public Security of what's called the Dynamic Control System in 2006. So what's the Dynamic Control System? The Dynamic Control System is an online police database containing personal information of all registered people who use drugs across China. This is very comprehensive. The information contained in this database includes name, your age, ethnicity, it could include your HIV status, your participation in harm reduction programs, your history in being detained in drug detention, your history in community-based harm reduction programs. It could even include biometric data like your fingerprints and even DNA. So anyone who's detained by the police for drug use in China, anyone who's sent to drug detention centers in China, anyone who participates in harm reduction programs, whether voluntarily or by order of the police, their data is added to this system. Um, so it's a massive system of surveillance and control aimed at a very vulnerable population. So one of the underlying aims of this system is to ensure that fewer and fewer people who use drugs go unregistered by the police. Uh, I've read numerous news reports, government uh, bulletins uh, about the dynamic control system since it was implemented in 